Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. We are resuming where we left off. Ten. The 159 population and all of the jobs that have been filled. As you can see, uh, the lumber industry has really grown and we're getting a lot of it. Which is actually pretty helpful. And it would appear that these guys have something to say. In general, we have a message from our ruler. Go on. I really like all your gardens. I don't have any. Your kingdom looks really beautiful. Thank you. I didn't realize how lovely they could look. Maybe I should build more gardens. Perhaps, but by your own taste, of course. Is that seriously it? Farewell. Uh -huh. Well, it might be time to get something in production. I don't like doing this. You know I don't. So I'm not going to until we get more idle people. Yet again, the manners would give us idle people. Look. By the time we're done with the map, we don't have enough stone for another one, do we? Oh yeah, we don't. How much stone do you need for these things? 35. Which we are periodically running dry on. And just like that, we have to do something. It is time. It is time. It is time. To watch charcoal makers skyrocket. And no one is working on timber. I found our crisis. We need to get timber up there with the charcoal makers. Specifically more important than charcoal makers. Oh. This, this, this is worrying. Awesome. My wolves. I see you wolf dead. I won't take kindly to that, so we're gonna build up out of fences. Now you might be thinking to yourself, it's just a wolf dead. No, no, no. I'm building up these defenses for more than the reason that oh, it's just a wolf dead. This is for Vikings, not just wolves. And with the growing charcoal in this tree, just pumping out some charcoal, just eating away, it, it helps. It, it does. Oh, yes. It's totally not the fact that the people can't live here. It's just that they're not pleased. Then again, our happiness is only 17. I mean, sure, I bet it's better than any other kingdom, but who wants to live with only 70 happiness? I mean, who wants to? Seriously, who knows? Oh, 
Wait, no, scratch that. It's 74 average home happiness. Yeah, people are actually... Oh, no, scratch that. It's 82 average home happiness. And you're saying that people don't want to live here? Oh, scratch that. It's 83 home happiness. And you're saying people don't like it here. I feel like that should be illegal. Just ever so slightly. So not a chuck. Oh! A Meowconian envoy is in room. Well, that, that is truly interesting. A mere, mere Newtonian inboy. I didn't think that they would come. I didn't think that they would come here. Ugh. Also, the amount of stone production, what is up with that? Why are quarry workers not working? We just have to get people to move in. We absolutely have to. Alrighty, alrighty, Mutania, Mutania, mate. Queen Massenberger. Yeah, go on. You were a bit slow. I mean, it's year 43. You're only just saying you'd like to work with me. I mean, come on. When Messerberger, or whatever it's called. Then again, this so-called hard mode isn't the hardest thing. I don't really know how to put it, but it's not the hardest thing. It's actually quite relaxing. And worth it to sell all of my burnt wood. Because I still have plenty. And it keeps my people's happiness high. Ah. The lack of stone production is getting on my nerves. <sighs> Only 20 per year. And we have three idle people. Which, okay, I guess is good. So there are some Vikings and learning over there. Luckily they're not voting us, because that is a very, very poor little tech area. Uh, there's some merchants. Uh, I feel like there are... There are Vikings and Warren landed. I think it's these guys. I think they're coming for us. They're gonna land right there. This tower might deal with them. I don't know. I can't really trust them to work too well. So there are the Vikings landing around predicting them. Or predicting the land. And they are just making a straight beeline for the tower. Something I did not foresee. Okay. I mean, I'd be pretty scared too if the Vikings were coming. Uh, real quick, let's just pause time. Uh, speak to King Gentile. Yeah, cool. Oh, were you now? And you've prepared a gift. Thank you so much. Are you? A pleasure. Farewell. Yeah. By the way, sorry if the audio goes all over the 
place in this video. Uh, sorry that it's not this, but, but uh, I will make efforts to improve my audio at any given moment during the video. And the dragon has been sighted just after we dealt with our Vikings. Yeah, all of our Vikings. Well, it seems only a baby dragon, yet only a yet defending. They know how. Dragons probably just burn some farms or something. Okay, well, it's not a big dragon, so I don't really care too much. I don't really care too much. It's not a big one. But as you can see, our island is dwindling in happiness. Churches and libraries are way too crowded. So let's get another library and put it like over here to maximize happiness potential. Look at how low that happiness is. I mean, come on, 81. I, even I can do better than that. And that's where this place comes into play. Actually, a theater. A place of wonder. Ah, yes. I too do actually love theater. So, I think very highly of my people for wanting it. Oh. As soon as that thing's built, get a skyrocket, I tell you. People always love a good theatre, they always love a good show. How do they know it's good? They know when they see it. And as you can see, you could look at my little area, city, whatever you want to call it, and say that it's scrawny and it's small and it shouldn't even be around right now. But I'll have you know, this is one of the more efficient cities. I'm trying to maximize tightly packed population and not really... How do I put this? I'm really spreading out and making myself vulnerable. I don't like to make myself vulnerable. Because a vulnerable position in these kinds of games is a bad position in these kind of games. So let's sell off some burnt wood. As you do, it's worth a lot apparently where that guy lives. And then boom, we get gold from it. And could you look at that beautiful theatre being built up? I mean, sure, it's taking a while, but it's a theatre. Why wouldn't it take a little while? Come on, it's theatre. Delicate. Art of balance. Because... I've said it before, I'll say it again, I love the theatre, I really do. And this covers every part of my city apart from the charcoal industry. Even all of the farms, the charcoal industry and the docks are the only things. But as you, oh, we probably need to get more wells. What's our well coverage looking like? Let's just go into regular town for this. Uh, what's our well coverage looking like? Um, everywhere has it. Everywhere has well coverage. Might not be the best well coverage, but everyone has it. Which is the most important thing. Uh, everyone chop down those trees. 
I'll make the same joke as I did in the last episode. You're not Mr. Beast. You're a barrister. I'll plant it. Oh, the faster we get all these things cut down, the faster you can get back to your families. <laughs> Sounds so wrong, but it is so sadly true. There we go. The tree felling project is done. Let's get a manor. Right next to the coast. People are going to love that. I say we abolish the cottage. And tell them to get out and to rebuild a new cottage on a different angle. So the people living in the manor get to enjoy the lovely nice sea shore. Oh, you're going to be kidding me. The forester already replanted. What part of that is going to be a city, do you not understand? What part of it? I don't want you building here ever again. Do you take your own? You're making people homeless, Forrester. You're making people homeless. Yeah, but you are making people homeless, Forrester. So just don't go past the roads. Apart from the guy whose entire economy is on the road. I take it that thing on the map is a foreign envoy. Of which it is. Come on, touch the road so I can walk to you. Come on, you can do it. There we go, you've touched the road. Alrighty, you have a message from your ruler? Go on. I think... What? What shall we... But you're speaking... You're speaking to me. Let's talk trade then. What of trade? I'm ending our trade. What kind of trade relationship do we have? What kind of trade relationship do we have with these guys? I don't hear you. These current arrangements. I don't want to see them. I want everything to be cheaper. Apart from the charcoal and stone. I don't even know where you pulled these prices from. Great, I'm very busy. Yep. Now let's see your prices. Considering that I won't be buying it great. Well, merchants, so. That concludes our rules mission with thank you, Highness, for all your time. Okay, farewell. I don't know what trade agreements we had before, but apparently we have some now. And I think. We're becoming merchants. Because we have a river. It might be in our best interest to. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. A merchant. Noises. Uh, we're actually making food. And look at our small riddle race. I'm surprised. I'm deeply surprised. Uh, 
Um, I think I might just might just get some more orchards with the no touchy touchy rule, and then I get some farms in between them. There we go. That should hopefully speed up the food process. And a bustling city has been created. And I think that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we are leaving it off today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.